He also stated to all the adv uh, advertisers, I wanted to reach out personally to share my motivation in acquiring Twitter. There has been much speculations about why I bought Twitter and what I think about advertising. Most of these have, most of it has been wrong. The reason I acquired Twitter is because it is important for the future of civilization to have a common digital town square where a wide range of beliefs can be debated in a healthy manner without resorting to violence, which we already saw yesterday happening in California. Yeah. It's not... There is currently a great danger that social media will splinter into far right and far right wing and a far left wing echo chambers that generate more hate and divide and divide our society. In the relentlessness uh, pursuit of clicks of much uh, much of traditional media has fueled and catered to uh, those polarized extremes as they believe that this, this is what brings in the money. But in doing so, the opportunity of dialogue is lost. Do you agree with this part of his statement? Mm. Let's start with the first part. Which, are you referring to the last paragraph? The second paragraph. Okay. Do you agree with the fact that... Uh, no. There is a splinter in a left wing and a right wing uh, echo chamber within social media. That I do agree with. Okay. Uh, I don't think that the reason why he acquired Twitter was because he, he, <laughs> he found it important to the future of civilization. That uh, sounds like a bunch of uh, PR, uh, PR to me. Let, let, let's put it this way. Do you think this has been uh, checked by his legal team? Yes. His statement? Okay. What? Or at don't least forget. His, at least his PR team. Don't forget, by the way, that half civilization will be Elon Musk's kids by uh, within 30, 30 years. <laughs> if he keeps going like he's going, if yeah. If he keeps going yeah. like this, yeah. And, and and do you also agree on the on the third paragraph that the, the pursuit of clips uh, yes, clicks definitely. have fueled that um, definitely so so he's basically weaving in let's say the real reason and he puts on top of that a of a course bit of, a, a, cream uh, or a cherry a cream yeah, to yeah, it yeah, so yeah, yeah. so yeah, it's, definitely. it's beautiful. Definitely, and what he what he mentions, it actually it falls in the same line as what Kanye mentioned, right? About the mm. polarization and the need for dialogue, open dialogue. So I do think that. Uh, so what he's saying, it does make sense, and he's saying it because he was oftentimes on the side. I don't recall. Maybe it wasn't canceled, but may, maybe they didn't remove him from Twitter. But I, I think. They might have blocked something, a comment or something of his. Or on maybe Twitter they, they put him on pause. There was, yeah, because there was something going on a while back, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. okay. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm going to be up in a, in a few. Okay. I'll yeah. continue. I'll continue reading yeah. the statement. This cool. is why I bought Twitter. I didn't do it because it was, it would be easy. I didn't do it to make more money. I did it to try to help humanity with my love. And I do so with humility, uh, humility recognizing that the failure in pursuit, that failure in pursuit of this goal, despite of our best efforts, is a very real possibility. That said, Twitter obviously can not become a free-for-all hellscape where anything can be said with no consequences. In addition to adhering to the laws of the land, 
our platform must be warm and welcoming to all. So you can choose your desired experience according to our pre preferences, pre uh, to your preferences, not our preferences. Just as you can choose, for example, to see movies or play video games ranging from all ages to mature. He closes it out with, I also very much believe that advertising, when done right, can delight, entertain, and inform you. It can show you a service or product or medical treatment that you never knew existed, but is for you. For this to be true, it is essential to show Twitter users advertising that is relevant as, as relevant as possible to their needs. Low relevancy ads are spam, but highly relevant ads are actually content. He closes it out with, fundamentally, Twitter aspires to be the most respected advertising platform in the world that strengthens your brand and grows your enterprise. To everyone who has partnered with us, I thank you. Let us build something extraordinary together. So if I look at the second part or the, the second paragraph of this part of his statement is basically already saying what is re restating what he already said, which is it's not going to be a free for all. There will be rules. It's not going to be people posting whatever they want to, whenever they want to. He wants to create tiers or, let's say, silos or groups with, which people can use or opt into to use the product. Therefore, you create on the, as he calls it himself, I think he said it here, on the digital town square, you will have different places where you can go and check out certain opinions or certain content. But there will be rules. He also closes it out with the fact, and why there have to be rules, um, before I continue, is that rules are required for, of course, the advertisers to have trust in the business. Because without rules, you don't want your brand to, to be connected to a, a, a company or a platform who has no rules, which because you don't know when you might get, um, or at least the company would be in a bad light, and which means that your company also will be affected, your name will be affected by this. He closes it out with, I think, a very important statement uh, regarding advertising, where he's trying to say that advertising should add value to someone's, the person who's consuming it. And, and if it's not, it's pure spam. So you can expect that to be one of the things he will focus on. So he will focus on creating the, the, the square town square where everyone is, is, is accepted, where there is open dialogue, where you can find whatever you need on the town square or whatever uh, ideas you align with. And also where the ads are of added value and not pure random. And he's already telling you what, what it is, what Twitter will be. Twitter aspires, so this is his vision for Twitter, aspires to be the most respected advertising platform in the world that strengthens your brand and grows your enterprise. That's the goal. 
That's his goal for his partners, the, the advertisers. I see RG is also back. Yes. The advertisers. So that's that's the part of his statement. 